This is a quick video on why I became vegan, why I stopped being vegan, and my entire experience, and some finishing words or pieces of advice. So, during 2022, sorry, 2021, I had been doing a lot of fasting and been having a lot of like spiritual experiences, shall we say, and connecting with the universe. So during this time, one night I was out for a run and I came to the feeling that while I was eating meat, while I was consuming animal products, that I was actually consuming myself, which sounds kind of crazy, but as a spiritual feeling, that's how it felt. I, I don't know how to describe it any better than that. So I felt incredibly guilty, like I was sapping myself of life. Um, and it made me feel very guilty and distraught. So I decided I would commit to at least one month of being vegan and then see how it panned out. And yeah, I felt good. I felt really happy. I felt really satisfied with my choice. Um, in the beginning, you know, first first week was a little difficult, but then it wasn't too bad. Um, I was eating lots of chickpeas, beans, rice. Uh, what else was I eating? Fruits, veggies, olive oil. Um, trying to think back. I think that the kimchi, that's mainly what I was eating. And oh, soy milk, plenty of soy milk. I even tried oat milk, but it was making me too bloated. So I just moved on to soy milk. And the thing I noticed was it was like pretty hard to get protein and unless unless I wanted to drink like three four protein shakes a day um, or eat like two blocks of tempeh every day which is also soy it just wasn't really feasible so um, initially I was eating a lot of calories still probably around 3,000 calories a day but I seemed to be like losing a weight so I lost a couple of kilos maybe about four pounds I got a little leaner but over time like my strength declined and I was like oh you know what it's probably gonna bounce back one month two months passes my strength was not bouncing back I was feeling weaker and weaker and I continued I persisted I was like you know what I'm making a commitment I'm gonna make this work so I'll just keep going and I'll adapt over time I'll just need my body and in the beginning I was feeling healthier as well like the first month I was probably feeling healthier first month for six weeks maybe um but over time, I think around two, three, like the three month mark, I was really starting to crave meat. So I was feeling like, ugh, ugh, I need meat. And those feelings of connectedness and, and love for the universe started to, to dissipate a little bit. I was like, you know what? I'm making a commitment. I can't just base this off of a feeling. I want to continue and keep going and persist and see what happens. And I even got a blood test done where I got my like vitamin, blood minerals type stuff done. Um, everything was fine. Now, I don't know if those tests are conclusive, but you know. And then a lot of the vegans are saying like you should supplement with vitamin B12, um, iron and uh, vitamin D, vitamin D. So those things actually don't deplete until further down the line, but I was supplementing with vitamin B12. Uh, vitamin D I was not supplementing with living in Sydney it's quite a sunny place and um, I think I was supplementing with iron a little but actually some of my blood markers showed that my iron was actually you know on the high end so I decided not to I was started taking them and then I got the blood test done and my iron was already high so yeah I didn't continue to take them so three month mark I'm starting to crave meats Time keeps going. My ability to remain, I, I was basically, a, basically I was becoming emotional, like very, like overly emotional um, and weak. And I felt like I was like, I wanted to break down in tears um, completely unnecessarily. So yeah, my, I felt like my mental stability was dropping. This is not to say, you know, I was going for a tough time and I was feeling sad or I was dealing with life. It was just like things that, like, I wasn't really going through anything too difficult. I was like, you know, based on what I've gone through, based on last year, based on, you know, how I'm doing, I should be a lot more, I should be feeling a lot more stable in my day to day. But I wasn't, you know, 
And despite my best efforts, you know, I was like, you know, I'm eating chickpeas, like all these fruits and veggies. I still was feeling like shit. And I don't know, maybe I, maybe I could have done a better diet, but I was just like, fuck it. You know what? I'm just going to go buy a burger one night. And I couldn't bring myself to cook meat at the time because I was feeling very sad. So I was feeling very guilty for breaking this. But I believed that I had to do it anyway. So, what I did was I went to McDonald's around midnight. And I bought myself a burger. And I was just eating it. And I was feeling sad. Like, you know, kind of, I was like, fuck. Like feeling sad and guilty, but I was also like, Ooh, oh my god, this is so good, type um, contradiction. So, from that day onward, I started eating meat again, and I began to feel better and better, and my strength regained. And now I, I eat a lot of meat, like I'm eating at least, usually like most days, at least half a kilo, probably seven or 800 grams, so that's a pound, two pounds. Um yeah what can i say do i recommend um being vegan i mean based on my experience i can't recommend it but you may have a different experience you may have a very positive experience you may feel very conscientious you may feel healthier i can't tell you i know alpha destiny alex leonidas um big jack dude from canada um natural bodybuilder he's has incredible results on a pretty much plant-based diet so I don't know what to tell you. I think it works for some people. It doesn't work for others. Although I'm not a fan of constant um, protein supplementation through powders and whatnot. So I felt like if I wasn't getting it from my food, then obviously this wasn't for me. Oh, in an ideal world, would I not eat meat? Yeah, I felt. I feel like in an ideal world, I wouldn't consume animal products. Um, so now I'm living with this almost... contradiction i'm living i'm living with this contradiction cognitive dissonance contradiction where this is fueling me and this is making me healthy so i can contribute back to the world best create an influence create an impact on the world but i'm also taking so you know it's uh i'm taking i'm taking life so you know what what can i say i don't know it's it's a perplexing state to bring to and maybe I need to meditate on this a bit more now that some time has passed since I stopped the veganism um, maybe it's been about nine months or so so maybe I need to meditate on this a bit more um, do I recommend being vegan based on my experience I say try for yourself um, maybe don't wait six months to to redact your decision but surely I think it can be a beneficial learning experience. Um, or maybe you just waste your time and you're just like, well, this was a waste of time. But, you know, if it calls you, then it's going to keep calling you. So if it calls you, do it. Try it anyway. Um, and some parting words. I don't really have any parting words. So peace out, guys.